Tonight at 6, an I-Team investigation coming to a close. This squatter will spend the next month behind bars. The I-Team has been following this story every step of the way since the Hogan's Creek homeowner told us the squatter moved into her rental property and wouldn't leave. Last month, that squatter agreed to plead guilty to criminal mischief and trespassing charges. We're not naming her because those charges are misdemeanors. The judge sentenced the squatter to 30 days in jail and two years probation. She'll also have to pay the owner, homeowner, that is, more than $3,500 in restitution. I want to get you right to I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell. And you've owned this story from the beginning. You were inside the courtroom, too, when that squatter learned her sentence. Yeah, Kent, she seemed taken aback. Now, both sides in this case had previously come to a plea agreement that would have allowed the defendant to avoid any jail time, but the judge rejected that last month, saying she felt it was inappropriate. Here today, the judge said, while she can sympathize with somebody who might be struggling to find housing, what she can't sympathize is the amount of damage that was done in this case. Recording this on April 4th, damage by the squatters. This is how Patty Peoples Hogan Creek rental property looked after squatters spent weeks living here rent free. According to my lease, me and my girlfriend owns the house. It was last March when this woman moved in, claiming she had been a victim of a rental scam. It was the same story she told police at a nearby property before being evicted there after several months. But because she claimed she was the victim, she and another woman were allowed to stay in Peoples House rent free for weeks as the case moved through the civil court system. In the meantime, Peoples wasn't allowed inside. You have to leave. I owe you this have to leave. According to the police, you have to leave. In court Wednesday, Peoples described the filth she found left behind. The carpet was destroyed in all of the rooms with human feces, dog feces, eggs, garbage. According to Peoples, her insurance estimated about $38,000 worth of damage was done, but her policy only covered about 29000 of it. She also says she lost out on an offer to buy the house, which was for sale at the time, and months of rent payments. Before I send it to you, do you have anything you want to say or any questions? Come in. Okay. In court today, one of the women involved faced Peoples in a spreadsheet of the costs her free ride incurred. The defendant didn't testify, but her best friend, aunt, and sister each briefly took the stand, saying she's a good person who's always been there for them. Well, I, I do want the court to know, you know, we all make bad decisions and we all do bad things. However, that core person is still phenomenal. She's still there. That's still who she is. After hearing testimony on both sides, the judge made her decision. And this is not necessarily going to be easy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjudicate guilty. 30 days to Ball County Jail with credit for two days served. The court also ordered her to serve 24 months probation, perform 50 hours of community service, and repay about $3,600 to the victim in monthly installments starting later this year. I can sympathize with, with the situation that you may have found yourself in. What I don't sympathize with is the damage that was done. And I know that there have been statements made and arguments made to uh, indicate that maybe you did not do all of the damage that was done at the home, uh, but certainly you were the one living in the home, and I don't think there's any argument over that. We just saw her taken out in handcuffs from the courtroom a few minutes ago. We just heard the sentence. What's going through your mind? You know, this has been a long road. It's been a year and a half. Um, I don't relish seeing anyone go to jail, to be truthful. I, I, th I think that she deserves to go to jail, but truthfully, it didn't give me any real satisfaction seeing her go out in handcuffs. But some good came out of it. You know, we got a new law passed, and this squatter is suffering some consequences, and I really hope it means that she's not going to be out there being the serial squatter that she has been. And the other woman who lived rent free in People's House last year has not been criminally charged at this point. Reporting live downtown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station. And we, we just heard a little bit about it at the end of your interview there. Your work on this investigation and what Patty Peoples went through inspired the unanimous passage of a new state law that is designed to combat squatting. 
That's right, Ken. This went into effect last month. It was passed unanimously with bipartisan support, and it aims to close that legal loophole that essentially allowed people to squat legally in someone's home while a claim goes through the civil court system. Now law enforcement, with this new law, can immediately remove somebody living in a home if they don't have a lease with the landowner or property manager. Ken. And Maxwell reporting live at the courthouse tonight. Thank you, Ann.